Wednesday uniform will be worn every day, with the exception of no uniform days, at which time students are permitted to renew their times. <laughs> Any student caught using the Lord's name in vain will be given a detention for plagiarism, because he or she did not have God's permission. <laughs> Students are encouraged to bring their own generators to operate their microwaves at lunch. <laughs> generators that cannot be stored in your locker will be taken to the office and donated to Goodwill. <laughs> at dances, only face-to-face -face square dancing is permitted. <laughs> Students taught square dancing back to front will be photographed and pictures will be sent to their parents immediately. <laughs> All students must prune their nose hairs. <laughs> students will not laugh louder than 14 decibels. <laughs> students will not smile for more than four seconds straight or for a total of five minutes a day. Young man, did you smile for more than 4.5 seconds? No. Yes, you did. Come here right now. We'll do our heads go back, way back, back into time.
I'm Hans. And I am Franz. And we've come to pump, pump you up. Okay, now the first thing to get pumped up is to be properly oiled. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be properly oiled for competition. Yeah. Oh, look at those ladies right there. We will teach you how to pick Good. up the ladies. You don't need to be economic girly, man. You need to be strong and flex like all the time. Us. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be back. They'll be back. Like our cousin Arnold. Arnold, yeah. Yeah, maybe you heard of him. <laughs> Alright, well, welcome to our private gym. This yeah. is a muscle factory. Yeah. Oh, look at you peasants. I'm gonna show you how to squat. Take the bar on your neck. Go down 90 degrees. And then up. Just like this. Look at these right shabby there. girly men. They'll never be perfect peasants like us. Oh man, what a godly man. That's your guy's Girl Scouts awesome. godly man. Okay. <laughs> Here's how you do it. For Arnold! <laughs> da! Da! <laughs> that was the best thing I've seen since Terminator 3. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah now we're gonna show you how to do this pulley arm machine. Yeah. For Arnold! For Arnold! Oh. Terminate it! Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Good luck, girly man. <laughs> girly man. Uh, uh. She cheats. What kind of stuff is she on? Now I'm gonna show you how to do the pull up. It gets you really pumped up, like the chicken. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Why, Hans? To get properly pumped up! Yeah. Ah! I'm Hans. And this is Franz. And we're here to pop you up. Alright, sit down, young people, so we can celebrate the achievements of the youth that walk these, these halls. First, we will start with prayer. Stand! <laughs> I found your head. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Mr. God! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? A cell phone! Mr. Groot? That's gonna be so bad for you later, son! Alright? Continue! Well! Alright, let's start the show. First, we have Mr. Benzo with some science awards. Please sit. <laughs> Please hold all applause until the end. Elizabeth Allen, 16th place in biochemical studies. Very nice. Dr. Everett Massar, first place. Peter Dreyer, last place. Did you not hear the man? Mitchell Anderson in second place. Justin Chan fourth, and Brio Rando first. Excuse me, stand here right there. Stop! I heard you say this is boring. Now, let me just take you along to memory lane here, okay? None of us know that we all know we don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. He doesn't even want to be here, okay? So here, well. Thank you. Thank you.
Coach Daniel. Now we have Dr. Reese with some religion awards. Dr. Reese. Dr. Reese. for the newly published book on theology. It will be mandatory to read for all religion classes next year. It does contain a... Walk into the school store, what they got in stock. I'm so pumped about our stuff from our little shop. Ice in the fridge, it's so dang fizzy that people like, man, that store's so busy. Rolling in, pockets deep, headed to the big freeze. Grab a couple jams, pause to feel the breeze. Dressed in some dentist weed, Samantha standing next to me. Probably shouldn't have bought this, smells like some nasty feet. Chips. But hey, it was a dollar seventy-five. Unwrapping it, heating it, about to go get some condiments. I'm pushing up some pencils, cause I need some utensils. Ooh. 
It's me and Hokey buy a man. I'm hunting and I'm adding. I'm saving up my money. It's a really good bargain. I'm rich. I'ma take some airheads out. I'ma take some airheads out. No, for real. Ask Samantha, can I have the blue ones now? Grandma's cookies and some chicken biscuits. Some steak chimichangas that I found digging. They had a Klondike bar. I bought a Klondike bar. I bought some Vicky's chips, then I bought a mocha jar. Hello, hello, my ace man, my mellow. Walmart ain't got nothing on this cheap price. Heck no, I could grab some sweet stuff. Eat them fast, love those. My student friends would be like, ah, he got the nerds roll. I'm gonna buy some snacks. Only got five quarters in my pockets. Ah, ah, I'm hungry. Gonna buy some ramen. I forgot my lunchbox. I'm gonna buy some snacks. Only got five quarters in my pockets. Ah, ah, I'm hungry. Gonna buy some ramen. I forgot my lunchbox. What you know about making change for a dollar? What you know about buying smart water? I'm, oh. I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm searching right through your freezer. One kid's checks, that's another kid's come up. Thanks oh. a man step for getting that rad Coca Cola, cause right now I'm up in here browsing. I'm at the multi part, you can find me in the school store. I'm not, I'm not sick of searching for that lip tint. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mama, your stalker. I'll take some acai burberry first hand, I'll drink that little sucker. Hey, you know what? I want one of those little suckers. I hit the vending machine, that line for little suckers. They'd be like, oh, that machine is where it's at. I'm like, yo, that's a dollar twenty-five for a cold drink. Limited edition, let's do some simple edition. Dollar twenty-five for a can, that's just some bad spending there. Call that getting swindled and perished. I call that getting tricked by a business. That drink is really cold. All those drinks cold. Just look at that line. That's a heck of don't. Let's eat, gang. Come sit at our senior table. Try to get our microwave. Man, you hecka won't. Man, you hecka won't. Stadco. Making money. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some snacks. Only got five quarters in my pockets. Ah, ah, I'm hungry. Gonna buy some ramen. I forgot my lunchbox. I roll up in the school. I look incredible. I'm gonna grab a bowl from the school store down the hall. I roll up in the school. I look incredible. I'm gonna grab a bowl from the school store down the hall. I'm gonna buy some snacks. Only got five quarters in my pocket. Ah, ah, I'm hungry. Gonna buy some ramen. I forgot my lunchbox. Is that your cinnamon roll? You gave me my first merit. It's the biggest. I deserved it. I want you to have it. This map will be your guy's Catholic. Where you sit in the lunchroom is crucial. You got your new guys, like Mr. Dombrowski, uh, your preps, like Ms. Nixon, Ms. Piero, uh, your JV jocks, like Mr. Finzel, uh, your computer nerds, like Ms. Thomas, Ms. DJ, uh, you got your cool office workers, Mr. Calories, the varsity jocks, like Coach Allen, um, the unfriendly science department, Ms. Dombrowski, the people who talk about their feelings, like Ms. Moore. <laughs> The people that hang around and don't really know what they do, like Miss Gerlock, <laughs> Miss Tomaine, um, the Goody Goodies, like Miss McDaniels, Miss Pepper, the Pennies, like Mr. Mr. Siegel, Seeker, <laughs> and the worst, the Plastics, Miss K, Miss Romay, and Miss Hicks. <laughs> Good luck. Oh my gosh, I love your 
always with us. <laughs> okay, so you should know that we don't do this a lot, so this is like a huge deal. We want to invite you to have lunch with us for the rest of the week. Uh, no, it's okay. We're really. <laughs>
Previously on The Bachelor. Kelly, you're a great person. 
personnel, but it was something between us. Your boyfriend. I did not have a rose for you. I can fax. Rejection does not <laughs> Today I'm going on a date with Emma. I had trouble trying to figure out what was a good location. That I remember. She's an English teacher. So, what could be a better place? The school library. Genius, right? I am so excited for my date with Coach Anthony. This is a complete dream come true. Oh my gosh, the library! Oh my gosh, it's a tale of two cities. This is my favorite. Really? Sit? I'll read it out loud. Oh goodness. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of peace. vision was made. He must go to Paris. Yes, the lodestone. They've had no ears for anything to surprise, or it must be reported that not only was Miss Frost lost in amazement and meditation, it is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest than I that I go to than I have ever known. And that is a tale of two cities. Oh, I, I had a great day, too. Wasn't it amazing? How long did it take you to read the book to me? Probably a few hours, but you know, time flies when you're having fun. You have to love your Charles Dickens. How do I think my day with Coach Anthony went? I think it went great. We completely bonded over Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, and he was really into it. I can tell it's his new favorite novel. The next day is with Samantha. I'm really excited about this one. I wanted to find the most romantic spot in school. Then I remembered she's, she's in charge of student council. So why not the student store? Perfect. Oh my gosh! The student store! This is my favorite place in the whole world! I thought this would be a good spot. Definitely. What do we have to eat here? We have a ton of tasty snacks in the student store. And we get them all from Sam's Club. These caramellos are imported directly from England. And we also have Coke from Mexico with real sugar, not high fructose corn syrup. The Revolutionary War has always been my favorite era. And my favorite figure from the Revolutionary War is definitely George Washington. I mean, crossing that Delaware in the freezing cold, how cool is that? Did you know that he was the only president to be voted in unanimously? And he only wanted to serve one term because he was just that humble. I love George Washington. Did you know that? Yes, my six pack is natural. Wait, what did you say? Oh, I, I had a good time. So did I. Coach Anthony and I shared something really special today. I can tell he likes the Revolutionary War as much as I do, and that's what I look for in a man. <sighs> I really want Coach Anthony to pick me. I don't know what I'm going to do if he doesn't. I mean, can't you just imagine our wedding pictures in June? <laughs> Flowers. I think it'd be really great. I just have to make sure that I look the part. I'm really nervous for tonight's rose ceremony. I mean, there are just so many thoughts and emotions going through my head right now. It's so surreal. I just really hope that Coach Anthony gives me the rose. <laughs>
You're a part-time love friend, full-time friend. I don't know how I'm going to ever do all of this. I just really hope that Coach Anthony and Coach Anthony are really happy together. I just hope that one day I can find that special someone to share the rest of my life with. And that he'll be as great a guy as Coach Anthony. Here is the church and here is the steeple. We sure are cute for two. Lifelong dream and become CEO of Burger King. <laughs> Catherine Bordeaux returned to JP2 as the new Mrs. Romay. I just love Jesus and all of his creations. Yes. <laughs> Sarah Swally returned as the new Mr. Benzel. <laughs> Kevin Davis became the Goat Whisperer. <laughs> Daniel Conforti came back to coach the football team after realizing he was coach Daniel's long lost son. Chris Rourke eventually broke every bone in his body. John Hokenschneider, after being profusely begged by every member of the drama department, returned to JP2 and is still working sound. <laughs> Thomas Hankin became the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Matt Curran does a total transformation <laughs> and is still working on it. I can't put my arms down. Michelle Thompson has just accepted her 20th Grammy Award for her recording of Hail Mary. <laughs> Jane. 
Jane Sweeney, that is. <laughs> lost her tan and figured out her natural hair color. <laughs> Clara Gum gets cured of her acute talkaholism. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie Davey becomes a soccer mom with eight kids that all look like her. Anna Thompson becomes a soccer wife and marries Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Family tradition came back to JP2 and tortures, I, I mean, teaches students. <laughs> Rachel Kress got a nose job to look like Lord Voldemort. <laughs> Erica Violet fulfills her dream of becoming a guest star on Phineas and Fur. <laughs> Josh Johnston leads an Apache revolt. And Maya McDaniel becomes the first woman to win the strongman competition. Like, if we can do just well on this, like, what are we going to do in the future? Like, yeah. <laughs> 